Hello guys, today in this video I am going to show you how you can use soft and hard references perfectly in Unreal Engine and when you should use those, okay? So let's get started. So I will just open my third person character. In this thing I have already implemented a soft object references in this one like what it is doing like uh, first of all I am uh, loading a class from a soft object referencing I am async loading when it's complete I am casting it to actor N actor after casting I am just spawning this thing and after spawning like uh, I am storing it in a in a object reference and after that I am just checking if that object reference is valid or not if I press O and after that i have created a array of skeletal message in the array of skeletal message i have stored a lot of skeletal mesh and all of those are soft object references then i am randomly taking any uh, any of those uh, skeletal matches from this array and i am async loading that specific soft uh, specific skeletal mesh and i am then casting it to the skeletal mesh and uh, through my blueprint interface i am calling it in my kahmir character and where it will call this interface and it will just set my skeletal mesh to the object uh, reference of the skeletal mesh which i will pass from uh, from here okay so so first of all i will show you how you would do all those things with hard object hard references and then how you can optimize those things into soft object references and uh, save some of your resources okay so first of all let's uh, I, we will check the size map of our third person character like you can just right click and click on size map it will show you the memory of that one now currently you can see it's only taking like 208 mb so okay so let's get started i will just do these things with a hard object re hard references so i will just copy that thing here and i will paste it here now I will try to directly spawn my Kahami character here. I am directly spawning it. Now I will compile and save. Now if we go to our size map of this third person character, you can see currently it's uh, we have the hard reference of that uh, Kahami character. Now it's taking 711 MB of memory here. And our, this is our skeleton and this is our default skeleton mesh of our mannequin. So this is the hard reference like now let's test it also if i press i yeah it's spawning that kahamir character also here okay so let's see how you, we can convert it to a soft object reference so currently uh, uh, i have created a this uh, variable of this kahamir character and this is a soft object reference and for creating a soft object reference it's easy you can just create a new variable name it anything according to you yeah, by default it's coming to actor by default it will come as an actor like this thing and uh, you can change it to a soft object reference like you can just click here and you can convert it to a soft class reference and after that like taking i will take this one because i have this kahami character already here you can assign it to any class you want from here so i will just take this class and i will take it here and i will call a blueprint function which is uh, async load async load class as at this one and i will take this one and when it's completed i will try to spawn it and one more thing you cannot directly assign uh, connect this uh, class node to this node because this is a u object reference and this thing won't say actor reference so we will just cast it to actor to actor class and we will assign it here i will convert it to a pure cast now you will think uh, why don't we just directly uh, cast to this kahamir character we cannot do that uh, because if we do that uh, there is no point of doing the soft object reference because whenever you cast to any class it will create a hard reference of that thing and so we are here we are just casting to the actor class anyway it is always be loaded in our memory so there is no issue to casting to actor class mainly but if we cast to any higher class like uh, any child classes of this thing it will load those things into memory also which we don't want okay so now it's a soft object reference now if we compile and save and go to see our size map you can see that Kahamir is gone from here there is only our 
third person character things here only so now also if we press i you can see our kahame character is coming and that's great okay so now let's change this its skeletal mesh also and for that thing i will just show you on in here only because i have already done all those things and i will try to make you understand these things okay so let's do this here i am just uh, taking a promoted this delta seconds from this eventic variable and i am just uh, i am just checking like what is the delay between uh, the loading this character and before that so it will just print the first time here delta seconds and after that uh, it will print it again after loading that uh, soft object reference then i will see the delay mm, just some random things and here i am just uh, passing this uh, soft uh, class reference similarly like that so after that here when i press o oh, i want to change its uh, skeletal mesh of that our ca kahamir character here i have promoted to a variable so i can just uh, change those things from here so whenever i'm pressing this o oh, i am checking if the our uh reference is valid or not if it's valid same i will check those delay things here in from the skeletal mesh um, for creating this soft object and this is a this is not a class object reference this is a object reference mainly and for creating that also you can just create a new any new variable and here in this actor thing you can just choose soft object reference here i have created a skeletal mesh array you can change anything whatever you want you can even create a map whatever you want you can do here it is your wish okay so i have created this skeletal mesh array i have assigned all my soft all my skeletal meshes of that kahamir character here i am getting a random thing from here and after that i am using this async load asset you cannot use that async uh, load class asset because it's a object reference so you have to use this async load asset uh, this node the async load asset you can just use this one and when it's completed i am just printing what is the delay between this thing and this thing and after that i am casting it to a skeletal mesh because same thing our <coughs> <clears throat> our kahamir character wants a skeletal mesh object reference so i am passing this here and uh, it is giving it will give us a u object uh, on u object reference only so we have to cast it to a skeletal mesh after casting it to skeletal mesh we can send that uh, reference to our interface which will call the interface from interface event in our kahamir character and it will just call this thing here okay i think you understood and i will show you like uh, if we just uh, uh, if we don't use this soft object reference how much memory it will use so i will just duplicate this thing here and i will convert it to a hard object reference this thing i will compile and save and if we go to our third person get and see our size map you can see it is taking that much memory it is 702 mb of that uh, scam mesh another mesh another mesh another mesh there are a lot of meshes it is loading because this is a it is loading from our hard object reference of this skeletal mesh because these are all of these are hard object reference so we can just delete this thing to save some memory you I can also go also go you can also go i don't need any of you now i will compile and save and these things also i don't need now compile and save and if i see the size map everyone's happy only 208 mb not loading any of those thing and now if i play in editor and if i press i you can see our kahamir character is loading and if i press o you can see it's changing our skeletal message and everything those things also so i think you understood how to use soft object references uh, perfectly and i will tell you like when you should be using these things mainly uh, for example whenever you are spawning uh, any kind of like different class uh, which you don't need like every single time you can use soft object references for these kind of things uh, 
and mainly like uh, you uh, shouldn't be using soft object reference for like passing the reference of classes like pair controller and those things for those things you can directly use uh, hard object reference because these things will always be loaded in your memory through your game mode because you can see it is uh, for our like default pawn class for our player controller it is uh, it have already created the hard references for those things so for example like if you right click on your game mode and check its size map you can see it is already including those third person character and maybe some other things which it needs so you don't have to worry about like uh, making hard references for this kind of classes and if you need if you need some kind of class maybe you have created your uh, your some kind of new actor or something which you want uh, which will contain some kind of data which you want to uh, which you want in the in your game like every single time you can also create a hard reference for that one like uh, for that one also so uh, i think uh, that's all for today and like if you have any kind of doubts for the soft object references you can just comment down in the comment section and i will try to you uh, to help you as much as i can if you want me to make videos on these kind of topics in unreal engine just let me know the topic name in the comment section and if you like this video please like subscribe and share with your friends okay thanks